Hello everyone. One of my subscribers had uh, asked me whether it's possible to multiply such large numbers uh, on the abacus. So he had presented me uh, an example of six digit number multiplied by one digit and how to do it on the abacus. So I have been explaining this in my basic multiplication videos where the rules are important means the same rules that I have explained in basic multiplication videos which are for two digit into one digit or three digit into one digit the same rules apply even when we are dealing with something like this where we are multiplying a six digit number multiplied by a one digit number okay so I'll be uh, demonstrating that uh, this particular example in this video so please observe it carefully and do understand that the rules are the same Okay, whether we are multiplying a four digit, five digit or six digit number with a one digit number, the rules remain the same. So the procedure will, will be almost the same. Now here, the, before we start with the multiplication, what we need to uh, ensure is or make uh, decide is from which rod will our calculation start. So there are total of seven digits in play here, six digits multiplied by one digit. So total of seven digits that we can see in front of us. So our multiplication calculation on the abacus will start from the seventh rod. Okay, so this is our first rod, units place rod. So first, second, third, fourth fifth sixth and seventh okay this is our seventh rod so our calculation will start on the seventh rod here i just moved my abacus a little bit so that you can clearly see all the seven rods now so we'll start from the seventh rod the first step will be the leftmost digit five multiplied by the multiplier seven so five multiplied by seven is 35 we'll take 35 from this rod seventh rod 35 then we'll move to the sixth rod and now consider the second digit on from the left and multiply it with 7 so 4 multiplied by 7 is 28 so we'll take 28 from the sixth rod 20 and 8 okay we have done the first two steps now we'll move to the third rod from the left that is the fifth rod now and we'll now consider the third digit from the left that is 6 6 multiplied by 7 is 42 so 42 will be added from this particular rod that is fifth rod so for adding 4 on this rod i'll do minus 6 plus 10 and then add 2 on this rod okay so now the first four steps are done now moving to the fourth rod we'll now consider the fourth digit from the left which is 3 3 multiplied by 7 is 21. So that 21 will get added from this rod. So remember that we have been adding each number. We have been moving one rod to the right with each step. Okay, we started with the 7th rod. We took 35 from that rod, 5 times 7. Then we moved to the 6th rod. We took 4 multiplied by 7, 28 from this particular rod. Then we moved to the 5th rod and then we took 6 multiplied by 7, that is 42. We added 42 from this rod and now the latest one was 3 multiplied by 7 is 21. So we added 21 from this particular rod. So every with every step, we are moving one place to the right. Now for the next step, we'll again move one place to the right to the third rod. And now the second last digit will be considered, which is 7. 7 multiplied by 7 is 49. So I'll add 49 from this particular rod. 40 and 9 okay and now for the last step i'll be moving to the second rod for the last digit which is 2 2 multiplied by 7 is 14 so that 14 will be added from this particular rod okay so adding 1 on this rod will be minus 9 plus 10 and then a 4 on this rod okay so the final answer is now ready for us 5 4 6 3 7 2 multiplied by 7 gives us an answer of 3824604 okay 3824604 this is our final answer for the multiplication sum that you can see here